Everybody give a round of applause for Commander Brown. <laughs> Commander Brown. Thank you. So how are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. So you wear the suit every day? I do, every mm -hmm. day. So would you consider yourself as a superhero? Nope. Um, I'm just a regular person. But superheroes are regular people. Good point. So are you a superhero? I'm a regular person that seems to be similar to superheroes. Mm -hmm. So what, how did you feel like when the first moment happened when you started going viral? Like, was you like, did you expect that or was it like, oh? It was kind of a, a gradual process between di two different types of um, fields. So uh, libertarians um, about 10, 12 years ago started to hire me to go out and speak about how we create safety for families in Detroit. Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing that for about 10, 12 years. Mm -hmm. and that was like the first I think, viral wave. Mm -hmm. This latest thing with this viral internet time period now, mm -hmm. this is a, a unbelievable. I, I, I never saw it coming. Mm -hmm. So I see you got a watch. What watch is that? A gadget? This is a um, superhero watch. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, basically a phone and a watch combined. Would you label yourself as a ghetto Iron Man? Yes. Yes, that's probably correct. A poor version. Do you sleep with this on? I, I have a, well, I have one that we use just for sleeping. Then I have a daytime version. Do you, somebody ever like family members, but you take your job way too serious? Uh, everyone. Mm -hmm. But then I have to remind them it's not a job; it's a mission. Mm -hmm. So this is your own me. business, like your own. Yeah, it's just me. That's so. crazy. So you don't work for anyone. Like, mm -hmm. so have people tried to like come work for us, and you was like, no, nah, I don't need that crap. Well, yeah. Well, I used to, you know, obviously before. Uh, I was able to help other people and create a condition where there's money from the helping people. Mm -hmm. I had to work for many people, so I was uh, working mm -hmm. in security and other things. Are oh, you stuck in old times sometimes, like 08, 09? Like, do you just miss those type of times, like that scenery? No, no, that was, no, I started in 1995. Mm -hmm. 1995 is when I uh, found what's more important than just teaching people is protecting them. And that's because a girl was chased off a bridge in Detroit mm -hmm. in front of a crowd of people. Yeah. And that's so when I realized I that, that uh, this training <clears throat> is vital. I knew that if I had been there, I could have helped her. Yeah. Right. So that was my point in, in really focusing on family safety. So where are you going to travel with this job? Or are you going to take it mm -hmm. like to other states? Uh, my schools, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the goal is to, um, I have franchise skill schools um, that are being designed now, so you can actually have your own franchise mm -hmm. of this dust facility mm -hmm. uh, wherever you are in the world. Could you survive in O Block by yourself? What's O Block? O Block? Yeah. It's in Chicago. Oh. You got six gang members, and they didn't have no weapons. Do you feel like you can get out of that? This will just this six guys, and it's just straight up fighting. Yeah, I can do whatever's necessary. Mm -hmm. I've had to fight more than six guys at a time. How many guys have you fought at one time? I don't even know. It's it was that too, many. Too, too large. It was like a Royal Rumble? More than a Royal mm -hmm. Rumble. <laughs> hey, they invited you to the WWE. I can see you like going like. They have not yet, but hopefully. I can see it. So WWE, if y'all listen to this, can y'all get them out on the show? I feel like that would really be dope. You come down. Absolutely. Like on some tech, real to, tactics in there. Yeah. And just kind of show them like that. And then you get Stone Cold Stunner. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll enjoy it. So like with the, uh how did you overcome the uh like the more of the guys that you was fighting? Like how did you get out of that? Was it like you can remember step by step or when you was in it, it was like a you went into mode? Well uh, what happens is you train enough, um, you can flow. Uh, so you don't need to think oh, about rap. what you move is. What's that? You rap. Um well, not really rap flow, it's okay. it's more like striking flow. Right. If you was in a video game, what would your rating be? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. What about your defense mode? It would be ninety nine? No idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was just saying, if we used to create it right now, uh, I would probably be zero because I can't, I can't operate the, the vehicle on GTA. I couldn't even. No, no, no I'm saying a fighting game. So if what you had your own fighting character, mm -hmm. like would your defense be like 99 and like swing and be like 60? Uh, what, what would be the technique? No, I'm saying what would your rating be? You know, like you got ratings of like if you was to put your skill like fighting, punching, blocking. Mm -hmm. Like would you be like 89 overall? 67. I don't know. So it'll be mm -hmm. too, you know, my character would just be going to eyes, throat, uh, knees, groin, and biting holes in the like the, the attackers. So mm -hmm. I don't know what those would be, but mm -hmm. it'll be very. Uh, oh, you bite people. What's that? You bite people. If they attack me, yeah. anything's possible. Mm -hmm. You get hungry sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. 
Let's say we paint a picture. If I'm walking home from school and I see like two cats fighting, should I break it up or like, you know, let them just go at it? Um, if those cats are people, you should try to call 911 first mm -hmm. uh, and then you should try to see if you got, if you got any friends you can help separate them. So you mm -hmm. don't want to be there yourself because then you're going to get one versus two because that'll happen too. So if you go to, you know, stop a fight, you go to stop, you know, back someone up, then all of a sudden, you know, they attack you and then this other guy starts attacking him and now you're both fighting the same guy. Handicap match. Yeah, well, it's going to be a crime. So they're going to charge yeah. you with you and the other guy you don't even know possibly mm -hmm. fighting one person. So yeah. keep so them what if you call the police on them and they was like, what the hell are you doing? And then they both start beating you up because you called the police. Well, luckily you called the police first. So now whatever you have to do to survive means mm -hmm. that it's going to be really hard for you to get prosecuted when you're done doing what you have to do to survive. All right, you you one on one with Mike Tyson. Who gonna win? If we box, hundred percent Mike Tyson. No, position, so. y no, y'all just fight running on shit. He just like you. I want you. We point at you, and yeah, he's so like, let's fight. Who winning? Whoever, um, whoever got hit in the eye first. Mm -hmm. Whoever got hit in the throat first. Whoever mm -hmm. got hit in the in the knee first. Do you got a suggestion? Do you try to go for the neck like right there? Or like, do you I mean, eyes, the throat, knees? Whatever's mm -hmm. there first. Whatever's there to exploit first gets exploited. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to get out of the headlock? I can show you. Okay. But I can tell you. All right. Let's look. <coughs> so you do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So you come here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Reach okay. here. Now, if you don't, if you want to hurt him, you go to the eye. Your glove stick. Yep. All right. <laughs> if you don't want to hurt him, you go right here to the nose and pull down. Oh. But who the, how are you going to just aim for the nose? You got to just know the nose. No. It's what you do because your body, everyone's body is the same. Uh -huh. But you don't have to see anything. The head's there. The Let me show you how I get out of it. Right, put me a head up. I start going in your pockets. And start no, that'll work. Shit. That'll work. That'll yeah. work. I won't get your wallet. No, that's shit. good. That's good. Yeah, that's they'll, they'll, be worried, they'll, be, they'll be worried. They'll be worried about. And by you beat me up, I'm putting shit in here, and then yeah, you thought you were one. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's good that's too. That's why you got a show. Yeah. God damn, my nose hurt. <laughs> that actually works. So, do you feel like? Uh, what are your suggestions to like you know like men that are in you know getting beat by their women? Like, how are they supposed to do it? Like, just block? Like, you know, like because it happens too. You know, they like, should run. Just run. Okay. Run quickly. Okay, I tried that too. And you're gonna look real silly in court. Yeah, I yeah. tried to run. First thing you do is pull out a video camera, start start using your phone to, to record, mm -hmm. so you can prove that you're being attacked. Otherwise, I did that you before. She was like, "You a pussy ass nigga." That's fine. You'd be free though. Yeah, I was. <laughs> she was. And it's then you call the police about your police ass nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's better. It's better to be free. Yeah. Do you oh. feel like you are in fit, like in shape? In shape enough. You got six pack? No. <laughs> so you out here just wrestling and stuff with no six pack. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't need a six pack to wrestle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like eating a lot? Uh, if I can. Yeah, be honest. Yeah. Are you out of shape? Am I out of shape? Mm -hmm. Depends on what it's for. Yeah, that's a good. You you really good at that. <laughs> when it comes to people that be like, oh well, I'm gonna pop the trunk. You in the club? And he that's like, normal right. for us. Huh? Detroit, that's normal. Yeah. Uh, a fist fight leads to a firefight. That's yeah. just normal for us. But I'm saying you in the club. He like, all right, I'm gonna pop the trunk on you, fuck nigga. Like what? What's the first thing you should do? Like while you're in that club, you need to get out of there as quickly as possible mm -hmm. and, and get, get. I was told stay in the club. Well, it depends. Because mm -hmm. uh, you can't call nine one one there; it's too loud. Yeah, uh, I would say you need to get out of there faster than you can get to the trunk. Mm -hmm. So let's say that you're out with your family and guy out eating, and then you see like you know altercation happen. Do you jump in there or you be like, oh no, I'm on break? No, no, I, I'll go over and I won't jump into it. What I do is. Even before it really turns into something, I'll go over and talk to the people and calm it down. Mm -hmm. So instead of thinking about it like uh, you're going there to stop a fight, what you can do ahead of time is stop from becoming a fight. Mm -hmm. Nine times nine times out of ten. There's times where you can't. In that case, yes, I physically intervene. Mm -hmm. You'll you be using like a lot of big words. I stop it mm -hmm. if they start fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt is the producer. He said, he uh, Matt, you can come up here. He has said that he uh, looked at some of your moves. Him and his brother had gotten to it, and it didn't work. And his brother beat him up, and he was just wanting to see like, what did he do wrong, or like, understand yeah, yeah. like. Check it out. Yeah, um, and he got me. He gouged me. I mean, I didn't even get a chance. Basically, he was just saying like <laughs> yeah. that crap don't work, and I'm like, dude. He was like, uh, if I gouge. That's a, that's what we teach. So it did work. Mm -hmm. No, this no no it didn't work. Nothing. You hit him in his eyes. I tried. He turned it around and got me. Yeah, yeah. He so, so it. that means that I was the Uno car. He was yeah, Uno. He it turned around yeah. and got him. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't hit him in the eye, it's not going to work. But if you hit him in I the eye, it does work. I didn't get a chance to. 
Yeah. Right. So like yeah. I reached. So do you like have that. a do you mm-hmm. have a rule for the Uno card? Because he pulled it out and got him with it. Nothing works if you don't make it work. So if you go to punch someone and you don't punch them, the punch doesn't work. So you have. He told to, him to catch the punch. Yeah. Told to, the, when you swing, he yeah, said, and catch he, it. I mean, like he reversed it. Put he had said, a, like here, grab, remember, here, go. you the yeah. one. He told me that he did that and he called it, and then buddy hit him with that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, first of all, you don't want to hit your brother in the eye. So you can damage him for life. He his bro- yeah, his brother stole his car. Uh, yeah. Well, he still don't want to hit him in the eye. Mm-hmm. So, well, what would you have done? Uh, I have insurance. I let him take the car and call the police. Well, you not know, gonna be fighting over a car. Yeah, yeah he don't got insurance. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I can't well, pay that much. Okay, well, well, still you like your freedom. So fighting over property is not in your best interest, really. Okay. So can you show him what he needs to do and like mm-hmm. swing, taking the first hit? Like, yeah. so like, how do you what's block the question? What? How do you block the first hit? Well, first of all, you don't want to be th- that close. You don't want to make sure that you, want, that you have space. So well, we talk to them. We were hit face to face. Mm-hmm. So you're so you're gonna make sure you never let them get that close. And if they do, then you want to be in a position mm-hmm. so you can dominate them. And how, what do you do? Well, it depends on what your goal is. You want to escape? Do you want to control? Or do you want to mobilize them? What do mobilize mean? That's a big word. And mobilize means you're gonna hit them in the throat, mm-hmm. hit them in the eye, uh, or you're gonna hit them in the groin or the knee. Ah. Well, okay. Yeah. So you hit them in the knee. There's no walking. Mm-hmm. You hit him in the eye, there's no seeing. Mm-hmm. You hit him in the throat, there's no, he can't breathe. Can mm-hmm. you show me how to do that? Like what, the hit the throat? Give him a straight hand. Mm-hmm. You hit him in the throat right here. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you good, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> He's sensitive. That's why I was about to boop his ass. So, you can also do this. Mm-hmm. Go right to the throat. I got veneers. You don't have to hit him. Oh, okay. You can just go right here and grab here. <laughs> Damn, they warm a nigga. If they grab your hand, watch this. They shake your hand. I right, don't, don't fuck me up. I'm not. They shake your hand, right? Mm-hmm. And you want to make them let your hand go. Mm-hmm. You take the thumb and you go like that, just like that. And watch this. Walk forward. Okay. Don't stop. Just walk. Right. Just walk hard. Walk hard. Okay. Walk. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. One finger to mm-hmm. stop someone going forward. You sure? Mm-hmm. Walk. I mean, you just did it, but walk. I oh, know. I just did it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Walk. No, I mean, see if you yeah. can walk through. Just walk, no, through. I mean, Just walk through. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. No, there you go. I mean, yeah, you had to put all that aggressive <laughs> shit. Look, right here, trick yeah. your knot. <clears throat> all right, you already fucked my throat up. <laughs> all right, you want to all back right. somebody up. All you do is go ready to trick your knot, yeah. make blow like that, <laughs> and they'll back up. Jesus. <laughs> all right, sit Simple down. Stuff. Yeah, sit down. <laughs> <clears throat> you do all that in a pair of Balenciagas? I do. Mm-hmm. Imagine fighting somebody musty. I'm sure I've had to do that. How do you get out of that? You don't. Then you, they put you in the headlock too. You gotta hurry up and get it done. Mm-hmm. Otherwise you're gonna be mustier. So it's not good to fight somebody musty is what you're saying? Well, it's not good to fight anyone. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying Musty this or not musty. I got that part. But if he musty and he trying to challenge you to fight, just like, man, you got it. If he's not musty and challenge you to fight, you need to say you got it too. Because mm-hmm. fighting is not in your best interest. If you like freedom, you like to keep your money. I mean, you're technically money. still free when you go to jail. You're just in a gated community. That's correct. That's a good way to look at it. And you're safe in there. I'm not sure how safe you are. Safe from guns. Yeah. Safe from guns. Yeah. No gun violence in there. So a shank, you just move to the side. That sounds like a plan. I'm not sure it'll work, but that's what I was told. When somebody pull out a knife, just move to the side where they yeah, don't no, go to. You never do that. Hmm? That's never gonna happen. No, I'm just saying, go to the other side. Because if I got a shank and I point this way, move to the left. No, no, don't do that. What? You need to go and seize the weapon. Oh, so you want, you want to get stabbed? Well, you might get stabbed regardless. What you want, you don't want to do is get stabbed. A lot. No, for sure my plan works. What you do is you move to the opposite side. They for sure I can tell you, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna move to the side. I'm gonna try to uh, this is my shame, okay? All right. I want you to move. Back, oh, back to the hell up. Seven. <laughs> I said you we didn't say action. Oh, I'll say somebody say deal. action. All right, hold on. And then my rib. Let me all right, matter of fact, let me do the night thing. Cause you way too fucking aggressive. All right, so right here. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, all right, action. So all right. All right. <laughs> you see you you see you see what you're trying to do? Yes, no. attack the attacker. No, you said you're you a shank. You could have had fucking COVID. You can't just be reaching in people's face like that. It's still street rule shit. It's not if I had COVID, we have COVID, because I already touched you. But you don't respect the G-code? Like some shit, you just don't be doing all this and that. No, no. That's not how you Absolutely do it. Absolutely not. Street. No respect for the G-code. Yeah, you got to, though. <laughs> you can't go to old block and try to do this to a nigga. It won't work. Trust me. I promise. It uh, won't. Whatever you got to do, you got to do. They gonna Every do block. This, and then you're done. <laughs> Every block. Yeah. So you feel like this is the pyre of everything. Hands, fingers, doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Well, and biting. Whatever you got to do. What is your biting overall? Do you feel like you bite pretty hard? <laughs> hard enough. Mm-hmm. So if they say, oh, fuck, that means you bit them hard enough? Mm, well, let's just say that when people are hurt, they 
they stopped doing whatever they were doing. That's good. So, well, uh, I didn't. Do you got a YouTube tutorial class? Like on YouTube, like they can watch. Uh, yeah, Detroit Threat Management Center. Mm -hmm. That's our uh, YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Detroit underscore. Any, which camera he needs to set that in? That one. Far yeah, right. Set over. Far right. Middle or which one? Far right. Far you. Right. Here. Gorilla. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Detroit Threat Management Center is on YouTube and Detroit underscore Dust on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Do it one more time. Detroit Threat Management Center on YouTube and Detroit underscore Dust on Instagram. Can you raise the eyebrow up? Do it now. Detroit Threat Management Center. And that is on YouTube. Detroit underscore Dust on Instagram. You sound unsure. Is that the right thing? That is the right thing. All right. <laughs> Just do it one more time, a clear one. Detroit underscore Dust is on Instagram. <laughs> you just making up shit, like the moves you be doing. <laughs> Let's do some more makeup. No, nah, hell no. Nah. It does do nothing. No, it does work. The techniques don't do nothing. No, they do. Right, let's, show them, let's show everybody how it doesn't work. No, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no, look. You so can, he's, he's you can show them that you I can. feel like it works for you because you know it, but it's, it's not that easy. It, you gotta take. All right, I didn't volunteer. Take, a volunteer. Got, don't nobody come up here and do that shit. <laughs> Matt, Matt, don't do it. Let's no, Matt. Volunteer. No, Matt. Well, I'll show you a technique and see if it works. All right, you show me how one. to do him then. You don't do it because okay. you're aggressive. You tell me to move. Matt, I'll do it on you because he's aggressive. All right, all right. Let's do that. All right, let's do that. All right, so, so he's grabbing your throat. Two okay. hands. Okay, two Just hands. Just put your hands on the shoulders. Two hands. All right. Yeah. Get you the take your fingers. Ain't no homo. And all you're going to do... Right here to the, to the trachea notch, you're and you're gonna go just like that. Okay, so we straighten your shoulder out. So we in the hood, and you like, oh man, you got my neck, and then I just do this and go like that. Okay. Oh. So I'm saying, what, oh, that was what, good. but I'm saying in the, in the streets of Detroit, you talking about some real hood shit? Who really doing shit like this? Yeah. Oh, choking you out? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they'll choke you out in a minute. Not like this. Oh yes, they will. This shit is like movie rated. Right nah, there. man, they'll choke you out just like this. So grab your throat. All right, yep. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> When I tell you his classes are real and techniques are real, this shit really works. You guys should really try it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. So, overall, like, you know, before we end up getting out of here, you say walk away from fights if you have to, which is a good thing. Yes, and protect your community. And the best way to do that is to focus on how to create safety safely. So what about when somebody try to grab your book bag and you try to run, let the book bag go? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Don't let it. And just, tell your teacher that you lost all your books and you, someone stole it. You think this shit work? It should. No, they make, just think. Make a police report. Mm -hmm. So what could uh, Craig did better with Debo? Um, he should have joined with Debo and started helping him steal bikes. I'm just saying, what in the movie, would you? how would you have beat up Debo? Be honest. What I would have done is uh, I would have told Smokey to be his friend and chill, <laughs> not to be his enemy. What you want to do is you make sure that they know they, they know that you could actually hurt them. So you'd all have right. to... You have to go at him day one. As soon as he comes at you, mm -hmm. in that case, the best thing for him to do is just. What was the best way to get out of the headlock? Well, Damon put him in the headlock. Um, what kind of headlock was it? He had both of them. Yeah. They both just do the same thing. Right in the eye. Mm -hmm. If it's serious, you go to the eye. All right, then you do the eye shit, it don't work. Then the dude's like, <laughs> now I'm really pissed. <laughs> no, it definitely works. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm just saying, what's, it's the, not, it's what's not, plan B? There's no plan B? Well, uh, the eyeball comes out and they go to the hospital, that's the, that's the plan mm -hmm. B. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't allow eye strikes in any sports. How do you feel about Plan B's? I, I think that some people needed that and didn't have it, and that's why we have some people that are problematic for the communities everywhere. Like, do you feel like they're necessary when it comes to Plan B? Oh, 100%. percent mm hmm How you took one? Have you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. And how was it? It tastes like shit. Did it work? Mm -hmm. I wasn't pregnant. <laughs> did it work? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's the good news. Yeah. So what do you got coming up that you would like to tell the world, like anything that they can look forward to? Yes, we have a book coming out, my first book. And this is a book about the organization, how I started, and also tells a lot of stories about um, how we used our tactics in real life, saving people, rescuing people, so you actually can see why we teach what we teach. Because we teach something totally different than other people. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's different is because we're the people that actually use it in real life. Mm -hmm. So I train my students, been over 3,500 team members for the past 27 years. None of our people are dead. We stabilize all our wounded. You're gonna get shot, you're gonna get stabbed. That's what's gonna happen when you're out here fighting violent individuals and gangs. <laughs> so there's no way you're not gonna get hit if you're a boxer. There's no way you're not gonna get kicked if you're in, in karate. And there's no way you're not gonna get stabbed or shot if you're out here stopping violent individuals and gangs. So you take your class and then you come in here and you're like, you're gonna get shot, you're gonna get stabbed. And when you get shot, you're you like, might oh, get stabbed. <laughs> this, this class is pointless. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what I came here for, not to have none of that shit happen. Yeah. Well, this will decrease the likelihood of that happening. Mm -hmm. But uh, in reality, you may get shot or stabbed, but the key to your survival is not allowing them to shoot and stab you a lot. That's what I said. My move, when you actually move to the side or left or right, you won't get stabbed for sure. That's why I'm still here. I got 20 knives pulled out on me before I just moved to the other side. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> In sixth grade, that probably did work, mm -hmm. I agree, but you're not in sixth grade anymore. So that's if I had a knife, I really would show you. <laughs> you could use your finger, I'll show you. No, I would need a real knife. <laughs> I could show you right now. Would you sue me if I actually stabbed you? No, of course oh. not. But you'd be stabbed back a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, there'd be nothing to sue. <laughs> See, that's crazy. You must have called the police. What happened to calling the police? That's after. Right. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Self-defense, right? It's necessary for survival, right? Yeah. Economic survival and physical survival. Is it right to scream out self-defense before you do something? I don't think so. I think you should. Well, that's because you are a comic. If you were not a comedian, you would know that's not good. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll punch you and then you say self-defense and then you hit me back. I knew it was coming. Yeah. yeah. You should think about it. It'll not work out. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why? Because uh, it won't work. Mm -hmm. Don't you problem. think we should do like some tactics testing? No, I think we should. Mm. No, you can come and do it. You want to come do it? No. Yeah, well, let's go. I'm sure. All right. Somebody shakes your hand and you want to make them let go. You come here and you go to the thumb. <laughs> and now you have them in your. Don't custody. break his arm. Yeah. Get out, you girl. Up there, you didn't oh, you want me to fight for real? Well, yeah, you yeah. Oh, I'll fight for real. Why would nah, you do we don't want to do that. Get out. Walk towards him. Yep. <laughs> I told you. He aggressive. That was soft. <laughs> oh, that was a soft one? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's the potato. See, we soft. See? So, yeah, that, I mean, all the text, all the techniques we teach, man, they, they've been tested. So how about that video when it came viral and the dude stopped it? Was that How was that? Was that true? When the video came out where he said it didn't work? What gun disarm? I think, yeah, that one. What he did was he didn't want to actually do the robbery, so he just took the gun and goes back. Mm -hmm. So in other words, he wasn't actually being a robber. The training mm -hmm. is for not the, going up against gun disarmers. The training is against actual criminals who are trying to rape, rob, or murder you. Mm -hmm. So when they try to rape, rob, or murder you, oh, take fuck. you away. They're right. not trying to do over here. They can't go over here. And they're definitely not thinking you're going to grab the gun. Nobody mm -hmm. thinks you're going to grab their gun. Mm -hmm. If they think you're going to grab the gun, they're not going to pull the gun on you. Mm -hmm. If they pull the gun over here, you're going to run. Or you can mm -hmm. pull out a gun. Nobody's mm -hmm. gonna, if they start over here, that's fine, but they're gonna come over here and get right up on you and take you away, or whatever they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna trust you. They're not gonna be like, uh, give me your jewelry, mm -hmm. but I'm scared, so just put it on the ground, okay? I'm scared of you. <laughs> they're not gonna do that. They come mm -hmm. right up in you, uh, and they'll put it in your mouth. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. I just wanted to see. What was that about? No idea. He did oh. something in my eye. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you prepare for shit like that? It works. Real life. Mm -hmm. It works. Yeah. All right, there you go. If y'all give a round of applause. Woo! I'm all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give them a message uh, right before we go where they can follow your socials, your Instagram, your website, if you can give them all the information they need to know. Detroit Threat Management Center on YouTube and Detroit underscore Dust on Instagram. That's your animated voice. That is my normal voice. If y'all was me for one day, what would y'all change? Your outfit. How do you feel about women that's out here searching for men? Like, what is your advice to them that's searching? I think they should find their self, grow and heal and evolve, and then they'll attract the right men. So why don't you do that? You started a love show. 